Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, it's official. I have a problem. I can't stop riding this motorcycle. My 2023 Indian Chief Dark Horse. when you get one of those bikes where you just can't stop riding it. Um, this is one of those bikes. I went for a ride yesterday to do a fuel economy test run and when I got back I was I was a bit sore and a bit banged up and I thought oh, and maybe I should start look at getting some um, more comfortable modifications for the bike. And I did a few hundred kilometres, and when I thought about it, I thought, well, you know, uh, it wasn't a lot of distance, a few hundred kilometres, but uh, time spent on the bike was around about five and a half hours. So it wasn't sort of at, at high speeds. So it was a lot of lower speeds sort of riding around. And five and a half hours on the bike, or, you know, thereabouts, give and take, there's a few stops and things like that. Um, that wasn't too bad actually when you think about it and I can understand why I was a bit sort of banged up by the time I got home so I did learn over that trip that this is not a touring bike um, it was never intended to be a touring bike but it's not a touring bike I did find the limits of the suspension a few times in some of the roads were just really bumpy and uh, weren't pleasant to ride on if, and if you had a a hard tail chopper you definitely want to stay away from these roads but I did find the limit of the uh, three inch travel rear suspension I think I bottomed out probably four or five times but like I said they were, they were pretty rough roads um, so it uh, yeah if, if, if you're going to go uh, touring then I wouldn't recommend this bike as a tourer, not by a long shot. Uh, there are far better bikes in Indians lineup for touring than this bike. But having said that, uh, this is a bike I can't stop riding. I just, I just love riding the bike. I'm now up to about 1,700 kilometres on it. Um, I think I'll probably. At the rate I'm going, I'll probably do about 10,000 kilometres a year, I reckon, on it. After that ride, I decided I do need to make some modifications comfort-wise, and I've been investigating seat options, and I've been looking at handlebars and things like that. And there's, the way I say it, there's two ways I can go. I can um, change handlebars, which will bring the handlebars closer to me. I think this seat, I do need to change for longer term comfort. Uh, I did find the limitations of the seat. For around one or two hours, it's not, not a problem at all, but um, once you start going past that, then you, you do find the seat to be a bit wanting. Um, I'm also noticing that the seat's starting to pack down a bit too now, so it's getting harder. Uh, I think I'm just, just wearing it in. And yeah, so I think for longer term comfort, I do want to get another seat. Now, I have two options there. I can either go the tractor seat, which will sit me up higher and sit me closer to the tank. And if I went the tractor style seat, I reckon I could keep these bars because it just would put me closer to the handlebars. Or I reckon I could go the comfort seat, which is like this seat, but a little bit taller in the back and wider just a more comfortable seat which will probably maybe sit me back a little bit then if if I go that route or I probably want some handlebars that will pull back to to me if I go that option and if I do end up going with the comfort seat and um, sitting more upright in the back and the handlebars pull back to me then I would definitely think I would go the forward controls 
So the two options are track the seat and keep the configuration of the bike as it is, or comfort seat, pullback bars, and forward controls. And I think um, either way would give me, well, I think the comfort seat and the pullback bars would give me more comfort, but the track the seat is just a, a simpler option just to change the seat rather than have to change handlebars and foot pegs. Um, that might be enough just to make it comfortable enough for you know a few more hours in the saddle. So anyway, I just thought I'd uh, chat about how I felt after a, a five and a half day ride yesterday in the saddle. Uh, so I've got that video coming up, the uh, fuel economy test ride, uh, which is quite interesting results. So uh, I've got that shot, now I've just got to edit it and get it out. I've also got my 10 things I like about the Indian Chief Dark Horse and five things I don't video to edit and it's half edited so that's coming out. So yeah make sure you subscribe because there's plenty more Indian Chief Dark Horse content coming your way. If you've made it this far thank you so much for watching as always thank you for your continued support. Don't forget to check out my Patreon there's uh, some goodies there that you might want to check out as well as my t-shirts and hoodies and things like that, check those out as well. And until next time, bye for now. Oh, and here's a couple of videos you might be interested in watching as well. See ya.